Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Modded Minecraft. This is All The Mods version 1.10.2. As you know, my name is AJ, and in today's video, what we're going to be doing is, uh, if you've seen recent videos, you'll know that King Willy and Mr. Red have some really fancy armor. And what I need to do is, I'm tired of being one-shotted by all these nasty mobs, so... I think it's time that I upgrade my armor as well. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to go down the industrial graph route because I've done that before. I've had the nano armor, I've had the quantum armor. So I've been there, I've done that, I've got the t-shirt, you know how it goes. And so, as you know, I'm a bit of a fan of Ender.io. Uh, obviously, you'll have seen my recent videos on Ender.io. I really, really love Ender.io. So I want to check out the armor that Ender.io has to offer. So if I come into my JEI here and I type in dark and I scroll through the options, uh, you will see down here we have, this is the armor from Ender.io, the dark helm, the dark plate, dark leggings, and the dark boots. Now you might be wondering, why? what's so special about this armor? Why do you want this armor? Well, what you can do with the Ender.io stuff is you can add abilities to it. If you see the titles here in blue, these are the special abilities that you can add to that piece of armor. And if I press shift, you'll see it pops up a little sort of infograph here. And the really, really cool thing is, is when these things are empowered, they actually give diamond level protection. And you can then enchant them with further enchants. And when they are empowered, 95% of the damage will actually be absorbed by the RF in the armor. So it's gonna last a heck of a lot longer than normal armor would. And if I run through some of the capabilities here, you'll see we have night vision, we have solar, which actually will recharge the armor from sunlight. And also a really, really cool one is the apiarist's hat. That'll give us protection against bees. So finally, the flipping bees will stop bothering me. And then if I come over to the dark plate, you'll see that this has two abilities that I want to check out. The first one is glider. Obviously, that's going to give me gliding capability when I put glider wings on. But if I ever get an elytra, then that's going to give me the ability of flight. So if we ever go to the end, then that is exactly what I'm going to do. And I think if I come over to the dark leggings, uh, these have... The apiarist's pants, which I'm not sure what they will they do. We'll have to find out. But what I'm really interested in is the boots. Now these have, I'm pretty sure these have um, the ability to do uh, level 3 jump. And also uh, auto step. Uh, like with the Tinkerer's Construct, you can do auto step. So I think we can do that as well. So I think that is enough gas in enough chatting so let's get out of there and let's go build this thing so as you know um this is my secret chest here don't tell anyone but i've got all sorts of goodies in here all sorts of good stuff and i've been hiding away the dark steel that i've been making especially for this armor and i have all the pieces here i have the boots i have the leggings i have the chest plate and i have the helmet so now I can just use my crafting table here and put these in the standard armor format. If I can stop missing it, there we go. That's the dark helm. And then we'll build the chest plate here. That's the chest plate done. See, it's really, really simple. It just uses the vanilla armor recipes. There we go. And finally, we want the boots. There we go. Now, we don't want to be using these because if they take any damage, they will obviously start to use durability so the first thing we want to do is immediately we want to empower them now if we look what is required you will see we need a vibrant crystal plus 10 levels so let's go and have a look in our storage system and see if we have any vibrant crystals so currently we don't but I can go make some right now and uh, I'll be right back with you guys. 
All right, I am back, and wow, what a scrub. I didn't even check to make sure we had any vibrant alloy in the storage system. So I've made four of those now. They have been made in the alloy smelter. So what I need to go ahead and do now is basically create the vibrant crystal so we can begin to power up the armor. And you'll see a note block. That'll become apparent in a minute when we start to add the abilities to this new armor. So let's head down to the XP farm. Uh, that one. And this one. And over to XP farm. Here we are. Here is the XP farm. She serves us very well. Oh, that's a cool idea. That actually stops the XP clumping up in this corner. Makes it easier to collect. And speaking of which, Mr. Red has gone ahead and for my birthday, he has farmed 100 levels of XP for me. Five flipping hours. Wow, that is immense. Thank you, buddy. If, you, if you're watching my video, go over to Mr. Red's channel now and tell him AJ sent you and say thanks for the present, buddy. That's awesome. So that's going to allow me to get a massive head start with this armor because, yeah, compared to those guys, I'm lagging behind. And, right, we have the storage terminal here. So let's clear this. We can use this crafting grid to put these. Nope, we want to put these together. And we want to craft four of those. There we go. Get rid of that. That's a shadow entry there. Get rid of that. Put that around there. Put that around there. And craft me four of those, please. Excellent. Good stuff. Now we can take the XP out of here. So we'll take ooh, 10 levels. 10 levels out of there. Put this in here put this in here and now it is empowered AJ's dark helm there we go oh I didn't name it rubbish uh, let's do the dark plate next uh, oh we need armor we need XP that does help so let's take another 10 10 levels I didn't actually get those levels Retrieve, 10 levels, store, retrieve. Can I have... Oh, wow, that was a glitch. Okay, so now we have 20 levels. No worries. So take the vibrant crystal. There we go. The leggings. That one's done. And finally, another 10 levels. There we go. For the boots. Ta-da. There we have it. They are now all powered up empowered so what do we need to go up another level we need a basic capacitor plus 10 levels and i think we have enough to make some capacitors capacitor let's have a look basic capacitor oh yeah i think we can make a ton of those so let's make four of those oh we're out of copper copper aha we have well, we can use this copper ingot. Give me that. There we go. Use that copper ingot instead. There we go. All dictionary for the win. All dictionary for the win. Right, let's put this back in here now. Actually, let's go ahead and retrieve one, two, three, four. Oh, I got 40 levels. That's... Yeah, no, that's right. That's right. 40 levels. Okay. Now let's put this basic capacitor on here. Empowered two. GG. Can we just... No, we can't. We have to put one in at a time. Uh, this one? Yep, there we go. And then finally, I think, we need to do the dark plate. There we go. Excellent. Now, so that's empowered now. What I want to do is I want to start putting some abilities on these. So if I press shift, you'll see that we have... Uh, Sound locator, which is note block plus 10 levels. Night vision is potion of night vision plus 10 levels. Solar one is a photovoltaic cell plus 10 levels. And naturalist's eye, I'm not sure what this is, but I want to build it. So I am going to go ahead and do that. Let's see what this thing is, shall we? So spec. Spectacles, these, I think. All right. There we have spectacles. So let's pop this in here oh and we need levels again don't we 
Rubbish. Let's go ahead and take a bunch of levels out. Let's see what this ability is. Naturalist's eye. Oh, I broke it. Rubbish. Hmm, well, I can't see any different, can you? Hmm. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is, obviously I need to replace this anvil, and I'm going to go ahead and get some resources for these other um, abilities here, and I'm going to empower them up further, so they're at least empowered three, and uh, once I've done that, I'll be right back. Alright everybody, I am back, and I decided not to bother with um, upping the empowered level just now. Um, I'll save that for later because uh, we don't have the resources to do the capacitors, but I've looked at some other stuff, and what I want to do first off is I want to put Solar 1 on this thing. Uh, this requires a photovoltaic cell and 10 levels. And then I'm going to put the sound locator on, um, just because it seems a bit uh, novelty. So we're going to put that on. And also, we're going to, you'll see it up here, we're going to try and make the glider wings. So first things first, we should go ahead and... Oh, I did create another anvil, so let's pop that down. First things first, we will go ahead and put the note block on because, hey, that's easy. And then you'll see I have some other stuff in my inventory. Uh, and that is for the photovoltaic cell. So photo, photo, here it is, here it is, this one. And I have everything here, energetic alloy, vibrant alloy, capacitor, daylight sensor, and fused quartz. Boom. There it is. Ta-da! So we're going to go ahead and put that on. We are getting all of the abilities now. There. And that will actually charge my armor every time I am under sunlight. That's going to be really cool. Jump. That's what I wanted. Jump. Piston plus 10 levels. Right. We can do that right away. I'm going to do that immediately. Piston. Well, it's a sticky piston. I think it needs to be a normal piston. Oh, that annoys me every time it does that. Flippin' heck. Piston. Here we are. Piston. Hello. Give me one of those. Piston plus 10 levels. We are spending those levels like no tomorrow. Put that on there. Boom. I have it. Uh, next, we are going to do the glider wings. And I think I want to work on the speed. So I think next episode... We are going to build a, well, we're going to make a brewing stand, essentially. I don't know if it's going to be a brewing system, if we're going to have some kind of automated brewing. We'll have to see. But next thing on the list is the glider. Oh, actually, that reminds me. What I've got to go and do is go back up to the base here, back up to ground floor, because I have a ton of dark, what's going to call it, in here. Or at least I did. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. So, what we need for the glider wings, glider, is two of these, which is one, two, three, and three of the leather. I'm pretty sure we have a ton of leather. We should have leather. All right, let me go down to the livestock room, where we should have some leather. We do have leather. There we go. That's what I wanted. So let's come back up to ground floor now. Back up to our doodah. Let's put 16 of those in there. And we're going to make one, two. Then we're going to make this. Give me that. Thank you very much. Glider wings upgrade. Let's go back down to our XP farm. Boom. Boom. Grab some more levels. Give me 10 more levels, please. Dark plate, glider wings. I have glider. There we go. Amazing. Speed. Jump to piston plus 15 levels. Well, it would be rude not to, right? Piston. Oh, I did that in the wrong one again, didn't I? Flipping, flipping, crikey. Um, right. Piston. I think it might be. We'll make two pistons. I think it might be jump three for another piston. Let's make two pistons. Okay. So we need this one. 
And we need... Oh, we need levels. Flipping. Okay, give me that. Give me the boots. Boots go in there. Piston goes in there. Jump two. What do we need for jump three? We need a piston plus 20 levels. Let's do it. 20 levels. I want jump three. This is amazing. There we go. That is maxed out on the jump. Increases step and jump height. Allows triple jumps. Wow. This is coming along nicely. I can't wait to try this out. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, there's another one. The One Probe. I'm going to add this on as well. Because why not? This goes on the Helmet. Helmet. The One Probe. For XP. Now all we're missing is night vision. So next I want to put night vision on and I want to put speed. But to do that I'll need potions. So that will be next episode. So next thing, let's go and charge these up. Uh, where's the halfway point? There it is. Alright. So let's pop this in there. That in there, that in there, that in there. They will charge. How much is in there now? Oh, more than enough. Look, I think that's charged. That's charged. Oh my goodness. That's charged. Oh my goodness, that's charged. And that's charged. And that is charged. Alright, we're about to wrap this up. Let's get rid of this old mean armor. Mr. Red can have that back. Pop this on. Ooh, look at my hat. <laughs> wow, look at that. Pop that on. Ooh, pop those on. Pop that on. Flipping heck, look at me. Wow, guys, flipping heck, I look like a like a cyborg or something. Holy crikey. Wow. I can tell you what, you wouldn't want to mess with me, would you? Now, you might be wondering what that one probe thing I put on it does. Well, if I look at the capacitors now, and you look in my top left, it's going to tell me all sorts of stuff about things, how much power they've got, what it is. Oh, that's a crafting table. And I can see, oh, that's a smeltery. And we've got, oh, how much have we got in there? Oh, not harvestable. So it's going to give me, it was a really, really cheap thing to add. Uh, and it's going to give me extra block information, basically. So I thought, why not? Let's add it. Let's add it. That's really cool. I like that. One last thing. We need to test out my jump capability. Let's check it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? Flipping neck. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Auto step. Oh, yeah, no more jumpy jumpy. Oh, wow, that's cool. Triple jump, look. So I can jump normally, or I can triple jump. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. And I don't take full damage. Look at that. There we go, it negates full damage. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness, I love this armor already. All right, guys, I think that is going to do it for today. So, if you liked this episode, please do remember to hit that like button. It helps a fellow out. And for more Modded Minecraft, be sure to check back. And until next time, see you later.